who have been closely following, former St. Albans police officer Jayton Lawton appeared in court today for his arraignment. The 31-year-old was charged with simple assault connected to that March incident. Local 22's Courtney Adelman was in court today, and she is following this for us tonight. Courtney? Well, Lauren and Glenn, Jason Lawton, who allegedly punched a woman in the face during an arrest, pleaded not guilty to the assault charge. He was fired in July after an internal investigation by the St. Albans Police Department. The, in the incident was captured on police body cam video and was then investigated by the Vermont State Police and reviewed by the Vermont Attorney General. This video captured on police body cam video shows former St. Albans police officer Jason Lawton punching Amy Conley of Highgate in the face after she was arrested at a bar for allegedly being drunk and attempting to fight with customers and refusing to leave. Conley suffered injuries to her face and eye. After a three-month investigation, Attorney General T.J. Donovan charged Jason Lawton of Cambridge with simple assault. My first reaction was that this was an individual who was handcuffed behind their back, who was in the care and custody of the police department, uh, and that this punch, uh, which was an uppercut uh, to her face, was totally unnecessary and it was an act of violence. In court today, Lawton pleaded not guilty to the simple assault charge while his lawyer declined to comment. But the AG says they will continue investigating the case as they prepare for their arguments. This is a case that undermines the public trust. We will not tolerate this and we look forward to the prosecution. Court documents say Conley had kicked Lawton in the shin before he punched her. But Donovan says Conley wasn't a threat. Here, we think the fact that Ms. Conley was handcuffed behind her back in a holding cell, uh, that she was not posing a threat of harm, of injury to the officer. And a pretrial conference has been scheduled for December 5th in St. Albans. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.